M0FXB, just a quick Pi Start update, 4.2.2, April the 10th. So let's just do it. So we're on my budget hotspot, which you just want just the usual sort of black case type ones that you can get here. And we're just going to go configuration. And then we're going to hit up here. We're going to hit update. Let it do its thing. Let it run all the messages that we're going to get here in green. And it starts to update. It's very interesting, actually. DV binaries updating USR local bin. Bring it now. Right, we'll go. It's, it's firing ahead, isn't it? Updating binaries. Upgrade does say. I've got yellow. Right, it's firing through now. Look at all that. There we go. A lot of work gets put into all this, and it has oh, done yeah. for many, many years. Oh, all right. Right, we're getting there now. Right now I'm on 4.2.1, so I was quite up to date. And you read down some of these titles, update dashboard, update yeah. binaries, update stopping services, updating PyStar firewall, yeah, P25 it. gateway, downloading, unpacking. Yeah, it's cool, it's going on a bit, isn't it? So as we do this, it says here that one of the reasons additional work has been you know done is for ipv6 okay now you think well, what's ipv6 and i've googled it now we all basically use ipv4 for our network connectivity technology now it says here ipv6 uses a 128 bit address format providing an immense number of addresses okay where ipv4 that we currently use is um 32 bit format okay so you've gone from one to eight to 32 uh, bit so there it is and of course with the new ai and all that kind of stuff happening i'm sure that they and i'm not by any means of you know writing any kind of software like this but there's a big change coming there's going to be a lot more data to cope with a lot faster it, we're going to need so many improvements to the whole system to keep up with what's going on and so and i think it's brilliant that pi star have, have decided to you know to to go along with the these these the new times right so back to the dashboard uh it says the updates are finished so that's updated um pi star when you click update now if we go to configuration again like so so we've got the warning straight away at the top, upgrade Pi Star. So I'm going to hit that at the top. And then more. So now it's now upgrading. You'll, look, you'll see that in configuration at the top here, you get the update and upgrade select and selections available as well. And that says it's finished. Let's see if it, it said it says I've already upgraded to the latest one. And it says I'm running, it says it's detected Pi Star 4.2.2 running on Raspberry Pi hardware attached to the STM32 DVM modem upgraded from 4.2.2 to 4.2.3. So that's point, you know, that's because I thought I was going to 4.2.2, but now it's saying I've gone to 4.2.3. And I will, what I'm going to do is rerun the upgrade here and the update. Then I'm going to reboot it and I'm going to see if it changes up here. Oh, it's already changed. Look uh 4.2.3 so it's actually i feel like they've done another upgrade um recently today oh there's there's one for the books if you look here big massive thanks to andy taylor and everyone that helps him um version 2.3 available for upgrade additional work on ipv6 again specifically to enable the dashboard to be served over ipv6 and if we go right click on my let's have a look at ipv6 on the pc so if you right click on your network connection, so for me at the moment it's Ethernet, but you might be, uh, you know, wireless, so you might have a Wi-Fi symbol there. Right click, go network connections here, okay, and then double click where it says on mine Ethernet, and scroll down, and look, you're going to see here, I local IPv6 address just here. Um, so there you go. We're already using it by the looks of it. And let's go back to my dash. So it says finished. We've got 4.2.3 showing here. We've done the upgrade. We've done the update. And we'll go back to the dashboard. And everything's working fine. Thank you very much for watching my YouTube channel, 